period. All right, y'all, it's a new vloggy vlog. It's been a while since I picked up the camera, but we are here. Ooh. I'm trying something new. So I picked, I picked up like a sticky, these gotta go. I picked up this sticky tab so that I don't have to like anchor something on my window to talk to y'all while I'm driving. So we're testing her out today. This is gonna be like a, is a vlog, but it's giving hair vlog. We have a hair appointment on Thursday. Today is Tuesday, May 21st. We have a hair appointment on Thursday. Um, I bought some hair. I could actually drive and talk to y'all. So let me do that. Oh my God, it really sticks. It really works. Ah, love that. So I purchased some hair for said appointment on Thursday and it just got delivered. I mean, like I was trying to take a quick nap and I got the notification. I'm pulling up to the mailbox because Babes, we need to get this hair, and then I'll explain to y'all the dilemma once I get the hair. All right, hair secured. So let's see. So my dilemma is that I bought, I'm doing Bohemian knotless braids, but I wanted, I wanna go blonde. So in a perfect world, by the end of the summer, I will be dyeing my hair. But I'm playing with color for the summer with braids to kind of see how I like it. That way I'm not, I'm confident in the decision for dyeing my hair. Following? Everyone's following. Okay. I need something to open this. So online, they labeled it as a 30. No, they labeled it as a 27, but it looks like a 30. So the color codes are slightly off. So when I went to buy braiding hair the other day, I didn't know which hair to buy because I'm like, damn, what if it's really a 30, but it's acting like, what if it says it's a 30 and it's really a 30, but the pictures gave, the pictures gave, it's calling it a 30, but it's really a 27 or vice versa. So anywho, these are them right here. And I was right. These look like 27. So I'm happy that I bought 27, but... The hair store that I went to didn't have four and 30 mixed. And I'm almost 100% positive the hair store by me has them already pre-mixed. So we're gonna try and run to the hair store real quick. But this is the hair, y'all. And she's soft. I got two boxes, so four bundles of hair. So I'm probably gonna have a lot left over. It's mixed already, but I want a lot of blonde. So that's why I bought two packs. And each pack comes with two. So she's soft. She's giving what I need her to give. Period. Hello. Let's go to the back and see if they have what I'm looking for. So they have 1B and 27. But I am not a 1B. I am a 4. So I may have to blend them myself. So this is the hair I bought and it kind of matches. I think once the hair is all like braided and stuff, it'll match. This is the inspo that I'm looking for, particularly this girl, cause she's similar in skin tone to me. It's not focusing, but y'all get the picture. So I'm gonna buy a pack of four and a pack of 27. Yeah, you said okay. Yeah, you, you put it in there. Thank, Thank you. you. So much. You have a good day. You too. Thank you. All right, y'all. Hair secure.
but I wanted to show y'all how I prep my hair for my protective style appointment. So I showed y'all already that I bought hair from Amazon, right? I might just condition the human hair. Um, I haven't decided how I'm gonna approach these yet, but I'm gonna show y'all how I wash my braided hair. So the first step is rinsing it in, or I guess soaking it technically in an apple cider vinegar mixture, which is just diluted apple cider vinegar. But I'm gonna take them out the pack and I'm gonna show y'all how I do this. So if y'all see, they all come rubber band. You're gonna take the rubber bands off the paper, but keep the rubber bands on. Do not cut the rubber band. So I'm just gonna disconnect these. This is garbage. Take off the red tags as well. We will not need those. And what I'm gonna do is braid these. I actually soak, shampoo, and condition them braided. Just, just because at the end of the day, this is still synthetic hair and maybe we don't want no tangling. We're just trying to get some of the dyes, the necessary dyes out and anything else in the hair that's gonna make my hair, my hair dry, if that makes sense. So I'm literally just gonna attach this to the bottom of my tripod right here. And I'm just gonna separate her into three and we're just gonna loosely braid her. So this is the finished product. I'm just now realizing that the colors aren't the same length. So I don't know what I'm gonna do about that, but it may not even matter. But I just, on once I rinsed out the conditioner, I just laid them all out and opened them up and brushed them out a little bit. And then same for these. I probably should take these off so it could dry. But if I'm being honest with y'all, I'm just gonna leave them. Um, I hope that this color looks like this once they're curly. I don't know. If not, we may have to hold off on the blonde. I don't know what we're going to do, but I'm going to just let them dry and then we will touch base in the morning. Hey, y'all. I didn't even show y'all the hair last night when I got home because, baby, I was exhausted. And I'm going to show y'all in a second. This is fresh out the bonnet, so I haven't done anything to it yet. It's just living this life. I just want to put myself together. Um, I don't think I'm wearing makeup today, but I am going to do, I did, I did my brows. Like I just kind of used this brow gel from Rare Beauty. She's my favorite. Um, we're going to pencil her in and stuff, but I like to do the gel and let it sit. So while that's happening, let's do lashes. Y'all can't tell me nothing, nothing like this hair. Oh, I'm in love. I'm in love. Um, I'm gonna try and put it in a pony though for Pilates today because I have some meetings and then we're going to Pilates. <sighs> I've been wanting to do a pony. Look how full this is. Like, um, but I'm gonna go film my hair real quick and then I'll check out with y'all when we go to Pilates. Mm -hmm. 